Um, hi there. Um, this is a short video um, about um, an example in, in chapter 3.1, um, which we um, skipped. It was on my lecture notes. So I thought it would be useful if I make a, a short video and explain that problem. Okay, so let's go to that. So um, this is a second order equation. As you see now, I am I typed things up so it's nicer so you don't have to suffer through my silly handwriting on iPad and by my finger. So this is typed up. So see, we're looking at an equation like this. 2y double prime plus 3y prime equals to 0. And we want to find the general solution for this equation. So you know the procedure, what you have to do. So first step, you set up the characteristic equation. So how do you set up? Well, you change y double prime into r square, and you change y prime into r, and that's the quadratic polynomial you would get. And um, by factorizing it, you can take r out as a common factor. This is how you, what would you get if you factorize it? And you get 2r plus 3 in here, and r outside. So solving for it, you find out you have two roots, one comes from the the bracket term, which gives you negative 3 over 2, and the other one, you find the root is 0. So this is the new feature here, that um, one of the root is 0, which we have never had before. We always had root equal to some real number non-zero. So what will be the general solution in this case? Well, you could set it up in the standard way, that is, C1 e to the r1t, where now r1 here is negative 3 over 2, and then plus C2 times e to the r2t, where now r2 happens to be 0. So, you know, 0 times anything is 0, and e to the 0 equals to 1. So you simplify it, so you have just C2 here. So this looks a little bit strange because... We are used to see an exponential function here, but in this problem, it end up to be constant 1 is a solution, and you multiply it by any arbitrary constant to form the general solution. Okay, so um, one can also discuss um, asymptotic behavior, that is, let time goes to infinity. Okay, as time goes to infinity, what happens to the solution? So you see the first term here, because of the negative term in front of t in the power of the exponential, this, we say, this will vanish, which means it goes to zero. So asymptotically, the solution y will approach this constant c2, whatever constant it will be, it will be the asymptotic value for y. Okay, so c1, c2 will eventually be determined by the initial conditions you will put in. Okay, hope that is helpful, and always, if you have questions, let me know. Okay, thank you.